Hi, I'm Alan Dove, and in this series of videos I'm going to explain how to think like a scientist and why you should. I'm not going to explain how to become a professional scientist. I did that and it was a blast, but it's not for everyone. Scientific thinking, though, is something everybody should do, because it's the best method ever devised for cutting through BS. There are people trying to deceive you about all sorts of things all the time. Advertisers, entertainers, politicians. But the worst offender of all is you. You deceive yourself all the time. Don't take offense, I do it too. We all deceive ourselves because of the way our brains work. Do a search for optical illusions and you'll see what I mean. It's a vase. No, a pair of faces. No, a vase. Or there's the one with the two lines that look completely different that are actually the same length. Those aren't really optical illusions, they're brain illusions. Your eye just sends nerve signals to your brain, but your brain reads things into the image that aren't actually there. We see what we expect to see, or what we want to see, and that makes us easy to fool. It's a bit like the old computer game Minesweeper. The game is all about figuring out where the mines aren't. As you uncover squares without mines, you eventually end up with a board showing where all the mines are. Each time you open up another square that doesn't have a mine, you also get a bunch of clues about where the mines might be. As you get more experience at the game, you make better and better guesses. Science is a sort of minesweeper for facts. We start by making an educated guess about how something works. We call that a theory or a hypothesis. Then we test it, which just means we try really, really hard to disprove it. If we can't disprove it, we plant a flag there and tell everyone else we think our hypothesis is right. Other scientists tend to treat that kind of thing like a challenge, so then they try to disprove it. Lather, rinse, repeat. Once it's been tested really well, we'll get pretty confident that our hypothesis is right and that we've found a new fact. If we do disprove a hypothesis, that's also great because it opens up a whole bunch of new possibilities and clues. When that happens, we modify the theory or throw it out and come up with a new one and the process starts all over. It's an infinite loop. It's an algorithm that gradually uncovers more and more of the truth. And that's really all there is to the scientific method.